What is up guys? My name is Simeon. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? All right guys, so today we're going to be talking about, of course, the Horse League release date, as well as some Sim Guru controversy that's been going on, and as well as the console stuff continues. Now, we're just going to get right into it, because today's video is going to be just a little bit short, but as you guys can see, The Sims 4 is trending still. I mean, every day that I get on Twitter, there is just more things trending about The Sims. It is it has to be one of the most controversial games I have ever seen, ever. So as you guys can see, we do remember that SD Keys and Instant Gaming came out a couple of days ago with the release of stating that we are going to possibly be getting a horse branch pack. Well, with that said, the release date has actually been announced and it said that we are set to be seeing this July 19th, 2023. Now, as y'all, for me personally, I feel like this is very believable, especially because of the four new unique kits, which means that they are long overdue for something that's going to actually feed us with a lot of storytelling gameplay and as well as just overall a big haul of new things when it comes down to the sims 4 some people did feel that the kits were just not enough and even though some people did have in like the four quote-unquote unique kits and the hot update was just its own set of controversy many simmers were left to believe that there has to be something bigger in the works and load and behold we are going to be getting a horse pack i do think this is 100 tr percent true i don't think that this is fake i don't think it's a hoax i don't think that they're trying to cover it up and make it this is known for that they do this all the time and that's why i have a feeling that for me personally this is this is the real deal we are getting a horse pack i don't think it's going to be called horse ranch i definitely think they're still thinking of a name but i do think they're using that picture as a filler for the cover art and we will see what they end up doing now for the next one i do want to get into i want to talk about sim guru nova for a little bit now this is a little bit controversial so i'm curious to hear your opinions on this but we all know sim guru nova is one of the simmer sim gurus who are the most outspoken very outspoken with everything that she says and we do know that the consoles have been having their issues and which we'll get into a little bit later but this specifically a lot of people were wondering why sim gurus we're basically ignoring the situation and reaching out. Now, we do know during that whole console controversy, Simgru Nova actually tweeted out saying, screaming into the void about all the cool redacted! Exclamation point. I can't wait to squeeze about all of it with you guys. A lot of people felt that this tweet was very inconsiderate considering what console was going through, and it just looked like they were completely being blatant and ignoring everything that was going on. Now, although I do agree with a lot of simmers about this statement because, I mean, again, that's what it did look like from my end. Lo and behold, if you go back to her profile, this tweet tweet is now deleted it is gone and I think it has to do with a lot of the backlash that has happened again I'm very curious to hear your opinion on the entire topic now with that being said we do know the sims you know actually retweeted back a console player where she has console in her name saying change console controls back and just retweeted this so we know that they're seeing this we know that they're viewing this and the sims direct is still yet to come out with a statement or say anything now we know the alchemist sims actually came up with a complete thread of all the simmers being banned for being sp outspoken about the situation at hand a lot of them felt that this was ridiculous why are people being banned for expressing their feelings i personally don't think people should be banned on a on a platform that's supposed to express how you feel but lo and behold a community manager actually got a hold of you know the sims 4 thread and said hey all firstly i want to assure you that i hear you i know that console simmers are having a hard time of it's currently and i wanted to assure all of you that investigations are already well underway to address these concerns with the console con control scheme now i'm not ignoring it the simple truth is that i can't really say much at this stage as there are constantly changing variables behind the scenes when updates come in this thread i want them to be substantial and meaningful and not simply looking into it still that that type of update doesn't help anyone. I also want to remind you that constructive feedback and criticism is always welcome here. We can't improve if you don't tell us where we need to make those improvements. What isn't allowed or tolerated here are attacks on the development teams or the attack on any other way. He does go on to say, I'm also aware that this thread has been brought up on Twitter and I will address those concerns as well. The main reason that this post has been removed in the specific thread has been moderation discussion, not trolling abuse, rudeness, or any of our other forum guidelines. I've said this already, but I'll say it again. I don't want to remove any of your posts, but if you can't abide by the rules of the forum, then I have no other option available to me than to remove it. This is very, very interesting. He does go on to say, if your post is removed, simply DM me to the CM that removed it. It was probably me and I'm more 
more than happy to discuss why it was removed and what you can do to make sure your posts aren't removed in the future. Again, we want your feedback and I absolutely hate removing it for a reason. Sorry for the long post, I really am trying to do everything I can to make you feel heard. Now Simmers had their responses and someone by the name of FM 420 said I hope they're taking real action behind the scenes. We don't want them to stay silent just because they're posted a long ass post though. They need to be transparent because it's causing loads of frustration. Someone else by the name of MRWS Press said not good enough period and here is my personal opinion on this it's not good enough i'm just say it like it is i understand the long post i understand like please like this is what we're going through i need you guys to sit back and relax and let me elaborate uh, it's not enough it's not enough it's not enough it's not enough and i don't care that's just my personal opinion guys my personal opinion y'all don't have to agree with me and if you don't agree with me let me know down below in the comments why i do not agree with harassing them i don't agree with bullying but i do agree with constructive criticism and a lot of the people that have gotten banned i have seen multiple of the tweets and multiple of the you know the a a a e oh my gosh see i'm getting so ramped up you guys see what is going on but i'm seeing so much from the answers hq and nothing has been disrespectful. I mean, there's some people who have been disrespectful, so I'm like, okay, I understand why you, you know, some of the, some of the stuff getting taken down. But there's other people who have just literally just only been expressing their concerns on what has been going on as far as the console controversy. And to me, it just sounds like a lot of BS. I mean, there's no other way to say it. I think it just sounds like BS. But you guys, let me know down below in the comments your opinions on that whole entire thing. And again, I do think that this is going to be, you know, dragged out until this gets fixed. And again, every single right to have that. Again, I'm going to link down the petition as well as the community page where if you are a console player, you can go ahead and express that as well. Um, and yeah, I highly recommend you join it and just just sign the petition. Even if you are a PC player, sign a petition, y'all. This, this is, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like we as PC players need to be a community with every single simmer okay all the simmers even sims mobile because don't 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 leave some mobile out in the dust we're here for everyone and console right now needs our help so please 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 go show your support and appreciation of you know the community again thank y'all so much for watching i know this video is a little bit late and i know it's a little bit shorter than my usual ones but y'all i'm trying to be a consistent queen okay so hear me out just give me some time okay i'm trying to figure out a really good schedule and i do want to start going live on twitch as well as tiktok so go ahead and make sure you follow me there everything will be linked in the description as well but anyway thank y'all so much for watching i truly appreciate every single one of you even if you just are a silent viewer or you share my videos or you comment down below or you give it a thumbs up because it truly does help on my channel i appreciate every single one of you and be on the road to 20k See you guys all in the next video. Bye.